HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, Royals. I'm Sarah Viana. And I'm Julia Zenka, and we're here with your announcements for Wednesday, August 30th. If you're looking for a fundraising opportunity, show out to the Fever Basketball Game Saturday night at 7 at Bankers Live Fieldhouse to support HSC's Make-A-Wish Club. Tickets will be available during all lunches for $15, and $4 of your money paid goes directly to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The Well Scholarship for Indiana University is now available in the CCA office. Students interested in applying should turn in the application by Monday, September 18th. Students should have a strong academic record. Interviews will take place on Thursday, September 21st. Two students will be chosen to represent HSC High School in the scholarship competition. Please see Mrs. Hunter with any questions. Riverside Junior High School is conducting their first round of interviews for high school Camp Tecumseh counselors online through a questionnaire. Students who make it past the first round will be scheduled for an interview for the final round. The link is active until 3 o'clock on Friday, September 1st. The SAT class is quickly approaching. It starts next Wednesday, September 5th. More spots are available. Come to the guidance office for an application or obtain one on the HSC, HSC website. Sign up now and improve your score. Many colleges and universities visiting HSC over the next couple of weeks. To find out when each is visiting and to sign up, log into your Novian's account or see Mrs. Bright in the CCA office for more information. Be sure to take advantage of these school opportunities as they come. One of the most important parts of high school is finding your like-minded friends by joining a club. Since the beginning of the year, clubs of all kinds throughout the school are having their call-out meetings, most this week or next. Now, here are this week's club call-out meetings. All of these are meeting today, after school. X2 Club, based around female empowerment and gender equality, will have their meeting today in J221. Political Discussion Club Kala is today after school in Mr. Morrow's room, J224. Hello, all you mock trial potential attorneys and witnesses. The second call out for the mock trial team is after school today at 3.05 p.m. in Ms. Chandler's room, B159. After today, one more call out will occur next week. Applications are available in B159. Are you pro-life or interested in what being pro-life is all about? Then attend the Royals for Life call out meeting after school today in A106. And finally, the call-outs for tomorrow. Running Royals will have their first meeting after school tomorrow in F-135. If you like trivia, enjoy Jeopardy, and want to be part of a fun yet competitive team, there will be a call-out meeting for the Quiz Bowl team in Miss Suriano's room, B-113, after school tomorrow. All Year Row Productions is a student film run company, run film company that each year creates a completely student-made feature-length original film. They are looking for students of all school levels and interests. The call out will be in day 107 before school tomorrow at 7. Robotics Club will hold their final call out tomorrow in B165. No experience necessary. Join Best Buddies for their meet and greet event as they kick off the year. They hope to see you at the Young Life Barn tomorrow night from 5 to 7. And you'll never guess who will be there. Bongo Boys! In related club news, anyone interested in Drama Club may pick up a form outside of Mrs. Armstrong's room, B105. All forms are due by September 20th. GSA is selling t-shirts at lunch on Wednesday, September 6th through Friday, September 9th. The colorful shirts will be sold in both the CCA cafeteria and by the commons area of the main cafeteria. Cost is only $10. Make plans to attend to get involved in the club, Royals. Now over to Alex with your world and cultural news. The city of Carmel was placed in a lawsuit by the city of Indianapolis for starting construction on a roundabout in their shared border street. Yet recently, Indianapolis allowed Carmel to continue building the roundabout with their consent after negotiation. In the midst of Hurricane Harvey, a photo showing a dog named Otis lugging around a big bag of dog food has gone viral. Apparently, the storm scared him off the porch and he ran for about four hours. Otis did, however, return home safe and sound, carrying his new bag he found nearby. Now to Carter with sports news. Last, night, the, last night's varsity sports results. Girls volleyball beat Harrison in three straight sets. Clark Jones led with 11 kills, and Julia Patras had a strong night off the bench with eight kills. Boys tennis lost 0-5 to five in straight sets last night to number 2-ranked North Central. Our number 2-ranked boys soccer team beat Avon 3-0 to zero last night. 
the team hosts number five University tomorrow. In other school sports news, tickets for Friday night's varsity football game against Avon are on sale in the athletic office and the main office. Tickets are $5 each, and the gates open at 6 p.m. with the game starting at 7. Royal Nation show up in force to lead to support our hardworking football team. Juniors are seniors who plan on participating in Powder Puff. Permission forms are due tomorrow in the athletic office. If you need a form, they are available in the, in the guidance office and the athletic office. Call for basketball trailing is tonight in Cafe D from 6 to 8 p.m. Information about tryouts will be given at that time. The girls track and field call is today after school in B170 for anyone who is not in a fall sport. If you are unable to attend, check the girls track website for details. Now back to your main anchors. All right, HSC, it's time to fill Hamilton County food pantries with pasta. Let's beat Fisher's High School and more importantly, help the hungry. Starting Friday, bring dry pasta to your first period class. The class with the highest pasta to student ratio will win a breakfast party. Collections are September 1st through next Friday. That's all we have for you today, HSC. You have a wonderful Wednesday. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.